Well, it's New Year's Eve and a little foggy. Actually, most of the fog's already uh, left. But uh, out with the old, in with the new. I'm going to have to uh, go in a different direction and make a little miniature trawler out of it or a terminal trawler. Uh, so if you want to follow me on that venture, then you're welcome to come along. So <laughs> let's do this. Yeah, so the uh, kill. Here's the keel, it's just sitting on my trailer. That's rust, uh, not very much of it, but uh, this whole thing is going in just a matter of uh, an hour or so, a couple hours. The guy's coming to pick it up, the mast, the sails, everything. It's been raining really, really bad the past few days. So, hope we can get it off of there without getting stuck in the mud. <laughs> we'll see. So I've done some horse trading, well I say horse trading, anyway so I traded a few things on the sailboat for this, I already had this but it's a short shaft, I needed a long shaft and that's a long shaft, that's going to work great and I've already cranked it up, it runs great. Okay so I need to build a uh, everything's gone took all this off I want to build an outboard bracket from here down and we'll just use it for a motorboat this just happened this just fell not even a minute ago but anyway I got this glassed Get this all glassed up just in time. Still got fiberglass strands sticking off. Well, the weather cleared up, so here's what I got accomplished. Uh, I had gotten this motor in trade for some stuff that uh, I took off the boat. And installed the uh, motor mount. It doesn't look perfect. It's a motor mount. Um, plus, I'm going to have a swim platform about right here coming out and back. Uh, Got to measure that. Uh, don't know how far it needs to be. Two foot to too much. I'd say 16 would be good. Yeah, 16 would be really good. Come out. There's already holes here. That's from the old motor mount. We can reuse those. That's about six, seven inches off the water. That'll be okay. Then I'd say two foot. Doesn't have to come all the way out to the edge. Two foot's fine. Two by 16. Let's see how it's going to affect this. Won't hit it all. Yeah, won't hit it at all. Uh, what I've done here is this is a cutting board. So I took a cutting board, put it in here, and on this side too. That way it doesn't uh, squish into the, the wood here and mess up my glass. Oh, and I also dropped the trailer down. It was, uh, it was way up high. Now it's not. So now I can get to everything a lot easier. And of course got the bimini on. So I gotta put a skag on this thing because it doesn't have a keel. But the motor is gonna stick down plenty to be under. It's gonna bite good. But uh, this thing's got three layers of glass on it. It's uh, not going anywhere. I just need to need to bolt it in right here. But this uh, this looks like it's gonna work pretty good. Yeah, uh, 
gotta take this off it still leaks underneath so gotta take this off and probably keep it don't know yet it does give it strength for the rail but anyway yeah this thing sits a lot lower gotta put a piece of wood or something right here going across to keep it from hitting this but I like it a lot lower it's a nice a lot nicer lower I thought about just taking this cutting it right here and just raising all this up but or just cut it like right here all the way around and raising the roof but it's just as much work to do that if not more than to go ahead and just build the whole thing the way I want it so that's going to come back nine foot of bring or eight foot of bring it to here all right so here's my wood for building this thing it uh only cost me sixty dollars i got these are nine foot long pieces too you don't believe me let's see okay nine foot long nine foot by these were already pre-cut 19 and a quarter i could work with that it's easier to work with this than it is uh big eight foot sheets uh, by four foot and these are nine foot as well but they're five and a half i can't see without my glasses five and nine sixteenths looks like anyway that's fine i got 12 of those 12 of these and these were a whole dollar a piece. These were three dollars a piece. That was a dollar a piece. This is a dollar. Didn't really want to do this thing out of wood, but hey, you use what you got. For that price, can't beat it. So that's what we're doing. Anyway, that's what I'm doing. And this is where I'm doing it. Out here in a freaking pasture, pretty much. Well, that's where we're at uh, right now. I have the materials and i've got the plan so stick with me and uh next episode we'll be cutting the top off of this thing now don't forget to like subscribe and comment and we'll turn this thing from a sailboat to a trawler uh i've got my hatchet ready and we're ready to start cutting the top off so check back with us <laughs> see ya